Good afternoon, this is the Plug Seeker. Welcome to another episode. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to take a look at what can be quite a common problem for people with long driveways and Type 2 non-tethered posts. Now, most EV manufacturers usually provide a default 5-meter Type 2 cable for charging. However, I hope you enjoy this episode where I'm going to take a look at when buying a 10 or sometimes longer cable may be more appropriate. So we are a two EV family at the moment in our house and one of the little problems that we often uh, come across is that we park both of our cars in the driveway and then the person at the back can't reach the cable to charge. As you can see from here, we are charging today uh, with a Zappi charger from My Energy, um, and as I'll show you the problem we have on the driveway. So here we go. So first, as you can see, the cable easily reaches the front car, no problems. However, if you follow me, so here's the problem. As you can see, we've got a bit of a gap here, and the only way I can then charge my car is I have to get this car, move it out, move my car in. And that's a bit of a palaver. So what's the solution to our short cable problem? I think we need a longer cable. So to sort out this problem with cable lengths on our driveway, I've ordered a brand new 10 meter cable. Now I've ordered this from EV One Stop uh, Limited and I'll put all their details here below and also in the show notes. I'd like to thank them for their quick delivery of this cable and I thought I'd unbox it today on the channel. So let's have a look. Hold a bag for my new cable. That be very useful. And here we have the cable. All right. So get rid of that box. So here's the cable. As you can see, it's a Type Two to Type Two cable. Okay. And this is the sort of cable you'd use. Uh, to connect your car to uh, posts such as uh, uh, either home chargers with, uh, which are non-tethered or also to um, outdoor public posts that you might see say at a car park or cinemas and that sort of things or supermarkets. So the difference is this one as you can see is a fair bit bigger than your average cable. This is actually a 10 meter cable. Um, most cables you get uh, are usually default to about 5 meters um, but I think it can be very useful um, in circumstances like I've just shown to get a 10 meter cable um, as well as for long driveways. Um, the other use for getting a big cable like this is when you're parking, say, on a supermarket and the two spaces in front of the charger are blocked or iced um, and that gives you a little bit extra room to maybe run the cable to an adjacent space. So I think it's handy to have one of these. Not a necessity, but uh, definitely worth considering um, if you've got problems like that. So uh, without further ado, let's give this one a go. So first, I'll lift up the flap and plug into my Zappi, as so. So let's see if this new cable goes the distance. And there we have it. And as you can see, there is still plenty of cable left over. And there we have it, problem solved. So that's it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell to get new videos as soon as I upload them. Also, don't forget to like this video and please share it on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever social media you use. It really does help my channel a lot and I really do appreciate it. So that's it for me today. This is the Plug Seeker, signing out. Happy charging, everyone.